man, but we gotta fill that up how many times? Five gallons. There's no other one. That's four trips. There's no other one. That's four trips. Oops. Uh, and you broke it. again if you've seen the last video you know there was a couple of things we have to get done before we can actually start it in the last video we were able to get his full exhaust set up and we were able to put in the shifter knob in this video we're gonna go ahead and empty out his gas tank because it's a full tank so that's why we went to our uh that store right there to get a, a five gallon tank and some batteries for the pump to take out the actual gasoline so we're gonna be doing that and then we're also gonna be doing what else the battery we're also gonna be hooking up his battery and there's a couple of wires that he has to ground as well but right now we're on our way to that back to the house so we can go ahead and get the gas tank started because we need to take it all out and then take it somewhere to where they can dispose the gas properly but this video it'll probably be one video but shot in different days because we just don't have time right now to do everything in one day so we're just going to go ahead and knock out the gas first and then later on another day we're going to go ahead and get the battery and the wires done on the same day but right now we're heading back to the house and we're going to go ahead and get that started so i'll see you guys there all right, so we made it home, but before we start anything, we're gonna go ahead and move all the cars right here. As you can see, we got the G35 parked way in the back, and it's gonna be kind of hard to get all the gas out. There's not a lot of room back there, but we're gonna go ahead and do that first, and then we're gonna go ahead and start. She's alive. Oh, the wheels are turned all the way to the right. Got it. There we go. All right, now turn it to the, to the left a little bit. Right there, right there, right there. Go right. Right, right, right. Right there, right there, straight. Left. That was just a lot of room right here. Uh-oh, shop cat. Where's the fuel pump at? Where'd you, like... Open it up at so to get it. Oh, you gotta take the whole back seat out. Oh, shit. that's it right there. That's the fuel pump. Yeah. Man, it's right under uh, the seat. That's how we're gonna go ahead and take the gas out. It's the right there. He's gonna go. He's gonna go get the pump right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it started. Just need something to hold the door open. Maybe the other way. <laughs> I'm already sweating, bro. I haven't done anything. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's legit. That was legit, dude. So this is. Just sit in there. And then you pump it, pump it, pump it. Maybe you get a better view. I think you're gonna have to have it in the car. If my house can smell like gasoline, I'd have my house smell like gasoline. Yeah, it does smell good. Man, we're gonna get high. Oh my God. Okay, I'm always down for that. 
cold all the time. Alright, last one. Last screw. Off. You should change your fuel pump, put a brand new one in there. Hey! Hey! Doug's here! Right there! Finally, someone to help last you. Yeah, new shirt or what? New work shirt? Sponsored. Sponsored Walmart? Sponsored. Take that little clip off. Right there. There's a lot of gas falling from that. Full tank right there. Yeah. Hopefully not. Alright, All right. now this should work. This shit should work. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> works like work. a work like a charm. But how are we gonna know when it's full of like just damn. shake it. Just shake it. Hell yeah. I wonder if we can where's your light at on your phone? You can punch it up on the side. I'm gonna see if it's going down. Look how full it is. See that I just press the button? We should have us. How long has that gas been sitting for like over two years? Uh, Probably. no. A little, year, less? little over a year. A little over a year. So yeah, that's why we're changing it because the gas is pretty old. The so. gas is up until, if you let it sit within six months, easily can go back. Damn. So this is way past due. It really needs to come out. Is it full or no? I'm trying to see. Oh, I see the level. Oh, hell yeah, I see the level. I can see. Oh, you can see where it gets full at? All right, I'm not finna. I'm not finna sit in here and record this all day because it's super hot. But yeah, that's basically what you we're doing. Sweating I'm sweating my ass out right now. So th this is basically what we're doing right now, ending the gas tank. So we'll see you in a little bit. So apparently, this guy didn't know he had two. No, there's no two. There's no way. Cause I think it's another piece. We ran out of gas on this side, and the tank is full, and we're only able to get five gallons. So we're confused on what is happening right now. Yep. Confusion. We discovered. Came to the conclusion that this guy does not know his car. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I never had to do this for sale. For sale. Let us know. best offer. Full interior. Five hundred. I know what I have. Five hundred dollars. Full interior. I know what I have. He knows what he has. That's probably the big thing. Oh, this is the rest of it. Oh, what man. is this, guys? I honestly don't know what this is. I've never seen somebody. Here, put it on the towel. I've never seen somebody take this out. Yeah, be careful with that. Looks. Oh, time to get the pump. The pump More gas right there. There you go. Where's the, the tank? Watch right there. Yeah, there's a lot of gas in here. It's more than on this side? Yeah. Dude, Sir, I think the other side was the, the small. Stop. Don't do that. Stop! Fucking <laughs> <Like an> idiot. <gasps> Help? <gasps> Help? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 he said stop. I fucked up. It's Why? okay. He's fucked up. Why? He pulled right too much. You overfilled it? I fucked up. He oh overfilled? My God. Come on. Is it filled? No. I just my dumbass took it out too much. <laughs> What, what did you all say? Playing, <laughs> playing too much. What did I just tell? Well, that's all the gas right there. Now we're, about to, okay, the now we're about to make our second trip to the waste management. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, we are going to yeah. still be on this video. It's going to be a different day. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the battery and the wires on a different day. We can't get everything done in one day. What would be next? Uh, we'll be hooking up the rest of the wiring is uh, in the interior like all the grounds the obd2 port somebody asked uh, a few videos back we'll be getting into that and see hopefully it's smooth or hopefully i can just talk to the person who helped me do the wiring and uh, he can help me do it and then i can uh, let y'all know how it goes we ran into a little problem with the shifter it's too loose um, so i guess i'll uh, be showing y'all that just in case y'all shifter is loose it really is hard to get into gear uh, even if first 
or a 3.6. It's, it's just, it has too much play. It's not comfortable and it's not safe. So, so I really gotta fix that before before anything. Before. That's the next step, the wiring, the shifter, and we tackled the, the gas, all of it was managed to come out. So that'll be it. <sighs> so yeah, that's it for right now. So I'll see you guys. Several days later. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I've been asking hella questions on the car. What we're gonna do next? What have you done? Uh, what'd you do when you did this? What'd you do when you did that? So we're gonna update you guys with this video right here, what we've done, what we're going to do. Cause we're gonna do a lot in today's video. We're gonna be going ahead and installing the radiator. Uh, what else? The coolant, the coolant. Um, coolant tank, the battery. The, coolant tank, the battery. I'll show you what's in that box. And this little box right here. Shoo Shout out our sponsor, right? You got sponsored by there? Yep. Yep. First sponsorship right here. So shout out them. Mishimoto. Mishimoto. So we're going to be going ahead and doing that on the car today. As you see. Right there. I don't know what the first thing we're going to do is. Uh, we probably might install the radiator first. That might be the hardest. I don't know. Maybe the manifold after. Hooking up the battery will probably be last. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and start it. We don't know if it's going to start or not. But we're gonna try and start it today hopefully praying it cranks and it works there's nothing wrong with it and then we move on from there morning sunshine So what are we gonna do first? What do you think we're gonna be working on first? What I'm gonna have to do is disconnect the hoses, um, take off my intakes, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the intake manifold. Okay. So the reason why, you got all wondering why I got two of them. I was oh, wondering I, I that too. I, I was I wondering why you had one right there. I I seen the hood and I was so, like, uh, yeah. So you got one right there too. The reason why, when I first got this motor, I noticed this thing right here was broken off. You can tell on this one right here, which is this right here. This little part, this little plastic piece broke off and completely stayed on this hose. Oh, so yeah. from right there it broke. You can't you can't repair that. It's a part of the intake manifold. So I already knew how to get a new one. It's brand new though. I don't think it makes a difference, but I, I don't know from the uh, from the description of the part, it was from a Nismo. I don't know if it means anything. I don't know if it's ported, but this came from a, a 370z nismo so i don't know but it looks the same so far but that was the main reason why i got it was because this broke off that was really it if it wasn't broken you probably would have kept yeah, that manifold that. on there but since it's broken he uh -huh. went ahead and bought a new one why not why not and you know and i'm gonna have to go to autozone for real because i gotta get i gotta get a hose that goes from here all the way to right there a hose from where yeah this um whatever it's called the thing right here yeah. that comes from the manifold yeah. so the, it's supposed to be the brake booster uh brake booster hose oh uh, pull out the mishimoto do you show what's in the mishimoto should i do that right now hell yeah i was just gonna wait till i told him you can see someone got a little too ahead of themselves i told him I he should have waited he should have waited till we were gonna make this video so that way I'm he could have opened it I'm fresh pretty, i'm pretty sure people could relate you got a package in there? I know. I ain't gonna lie. When we got home, yeah, right. I seen all those packages. For, like Christmas. I thought it was a gaming chair. 
thought, I thought a gaming chair came in. It was for me. Go back. Heavy ass right. battery. Okay, so. Shit, big so as a Lego so and it's heavy as fuck. You can easily tell there's two sensors missing. One. The motor, two. when I got the motor, there was only one. And I could not find the other one. And I tried messaging the junkyard people. They couldn't find it. So it's kind of screwed. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to eventually buy two of them. Which this is what? This is, got it for a good deal. I really pray they work. I'm going to be so mad if they're not working. Okay. We'll report it. It's That's a scam. That's whenever, you know, buy used parts. Buy used parts, yeah. <laughs> when you try to buy. Don't buy OEM parts. $200 parts when you get them for 60 Really? The 200, Clutch. 200 a pop. I can drop these, but here they are. Damn. Master Did, four sensors. They, they look like memory cards. <laughs> if I just slide them they in there, how do fit, they go in? <laughs> they should fit. Damn. That's fucking dope. Hell. I'm gonna just leave them there so I don't. Mm -hmm. Fucking dope. There's like a card. Ooh. It's <laughs> like building a puzzle. Yeah, literally. <laughs> shout out. Shout out, Miss Moto. Swag. They gave you a swag bag. bag. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't like, it's just, I'm gonna show y'all. They told you you need to get your swagger up. They gave me a little jet tag. Pretty nice. Yeah. Limited so, edition. Shout out Mishimoto, first sponsorship. Landed. Go ahead and check out our Instagram. We're gonna go ahead and be making posts on them. All right. Damn. Do not want to drop this? Damn. This is for okay for this swap. Uh, there she is. I had to get the 350Z. HR model. There's a 350Z DE and HR. So if you're gonna do this kind of uh, conversion, you're gonna have to get the three, uh, 350Z HR radiator. I was kind of worried about the cooling intake situation because I had got the original DE and it was really in the way because my intakes I have now. So from my understanding, it should bolt into these little, these little, whatever, I don't know what it's called. Whatever, the whatever is. these little tread things. Whatever little, these little things These little are. 10 millimeter Bolt holders. Damn, look at the look at the welding job on so here. So it's gonna bolt in just like that, and it should hook up perfectly. No issues. And this radiator should fit. Do you have the bolts for it? No. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to <laughs> scavenge. Harbor Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. For the no, we love that, bro. It looks so good from far. Bro. Yes. Ooh, it does. It looks so good from far. Oh yeah, did you show what was in there? What's in there? Well, it was the lanyard. Oh, decals. The, the jet tag. How many did uh, they put? Two. Well, they gave me two decals, but they said just. I think they just said put one. Okay. <laughs> what is that? A little koozie. They gave you a koozie. This smells good. That's how you know it's legit. Look at this. A koozie. Amazing. Mm. Oh, so Damn, it does. Mm. Mm. Well, hey, ma'am, Kenny. And then they give me this. I don't know. This is Kenny, bro. If it's, if it's confident. Don't lose Kenny. You got to keep no, Kenny you know here. what his name is? What's his name? Chili. Chili? Who the hell gave him that name? <laughs> Mishimoto. Oh. Oh, that's his name, Wait, Chili? I got to make sure. Huge shout, Huge shout out to Mishimoto for this, bro. And hopefully, the end goal of this is to have it in one of their showrooms one day, maybe. Definitely. Have you when they're in one of like uh, an event or at a booth or something like that? Hopefully, have this car. Huge low boy sticker on the windshield and the huge Mishimoto sticker on the bottom. That'd be cool. Hell yeah. But let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to take the bumper off, right? We got to take all this off. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while. Y'all can see how dusty it is. It's literally caked up. All right. Don't tell me. Oh, it snapped. Look at that. Literally. Well, intakes. Intakes gone. Like the movie from Fast and Furious? I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like how you have a lot of car parts you know? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, it looks like that. It looks like it's slipping out. So, he told me to take off the clips. I'm assuming like these motherfuckers right here. He told me to take off the clips in the back. This is not a one hand job. Just gotta take off this one. 
So I think that's it. We just gotta take off all the clips that are connected to the intake manifold, which is up uh, this one. And I don't think I don't think this one is connected to it. Alright, so I finally got this clip off. Let's go. Now, um, I think that was the last clip we needed to take off from the manifold. But I'm gonna wait for Blasto to come out here and do that because I'm really not trying to mess anything up. Oh, dude. Sick. Right, I'm just gonna disconnect these hoses. Yeah, I gotta use these. Because I our pliers got stolen. A lot of buttons in there. It's not a one hand. Let's go. Boom. Yep. Cash. So what we did was take off the two hoses. There's two on this. And then two on that side. Well, we still need to take that one off. Oh. Um, there was a hose right here. And then a couple of clips. Um, then this thing was in here. We gotta pry that out. It was in there, the little clip. Boom, pry that out. This clips right there. That clip right there. So it's, oh. Russell got it off. Yeah. Uh, um, I think now it's just what unbolting it off. Right? Right here. Oh, another hole is right there. That hose is off. Dude, that's gonna be hard to get to. Oh, never mind. <laughs> came in slides. Mid slides? He showed up not to do anything. This at the top, one right there, and then there's one right there, that back one. So in, manifold should be off in a little bit. Throw the new one on there. Does it have throttle bodies on it already? No, I'm gonna have this one. Oh, you're gonna take those off and put them on there? Yeah. Okay. We got all the bolts taken off for the intake manifold. We got the six at the top, one in the front, one in the back. And then he also took off some stuff in the front just to make some clearance. I think he what, took off the horns, right? The horns, yeah. The horns. And then, so we're about to go ahead and then change out the manifolds. So be extra careful, please. All right. Nobody move. Nobody move. Everybody, don't breathe right now. Let me put my ear on it. Let me see if I put my ear on it. You hear the horses? Watch out the bolts. I can hear the horses. Where are you going to drop the bolts? Yeah, it looks way better with the new one. It looks shinier. So what are you doing right now? Oh, yeah. So I'm putting the brackets back on onto the new one. Got to do the same on that bracket. The clips that we took off in the back on the old manifold. We're just putting all the brackets back on that one. And then we're going to put the one that was on back here. And then go ahead and put all the clips back in. And then after that, we're probably gonna go ahead and put the throttle bodies on. Doug is finally being useful. But I know these are gonna fit. Trying to take off the throttle bodies, but yeah. he seems to not know how. Bro, those are cheap. That's, that's daily. What's, what's cheap? The, those clips. Wouldn't recommend? I think they're white bands. I think those are white bands. White bands? Wouldn't recommend? Well, from Amazon. No, Amazon? Amazon? No, I want the cheap. Gotta pay play. <laughs> Dude, I think his name is Chili, man. What's his name? Yeah. If you know, please Just let us let us know in the comments because. Just look it up. His name is Kenny. What's his name? I'm calling him Kenny. Man, Kenny. Look it, up. it is a pretty nice day today. Pretty nice day today. You know, it's December and it's hot, but. It's in here. What that is? You know, we stay strapped. Look at that. Stay strapped. Lot of body cleaner right there. Yes, sir. They are a little dirty. No. Oh. Especially the back. Sheesh. Just a little update before you go ahead and put the throttle bodies on because that's what we're about to do next. Put the new manifold on along with the brackets, clips, and sensors. They're all clipped in. All the hoses are back on. All that's left are the, the coolant uh, hoses that go into the throttle body. I hooked up the breather hoses, the PCV hoses already. Uh, that's really it. Going in. Who can start thought about it first? Ah. 
My fingers are strong, boy. Got her on there. Give me the actual turning thing. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, uh, thick It'll do one at a time. <sighs> me too. I literally been just trying to get them on there. See, I don't even need that. My finger being too strong. Sure. You just hear Doug's hand make like a drill noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like drills. <laughs> and then after we install the throttle body, she's gonna go ahead and put the radiator on, right? Missy. Yeah. And once the radiator's on, we gotta put the the coolant uh, ah. housing on. The oh, battery too, right here. That's out of the 370. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I didn't know. Now I don't know what other people are running. <laughs> I was told run a small battery, and I honestly thought, in my opinion, the 370. The way the body's made, I thought it would have been small, but it looks pretty big. And yeah. I, only got, I only got this much room to work with. But so I hope. How much room? Ooh, I yeah. really hope. I really hope it fits. Nah, it looks like it'll fit. It looks. It just looks tall. It's not real like. Big. It's not wide, and yeah. it just looks tall. Uh, thought about it. Uh, sensor. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Number two. <sighs> then we got this oh, guy over here. here. Are the manifold is on. Throttle bodies are on. Sensors. Intakes are on. The sensors are on. We just need to get the bolts. the bolts. And that hole from the back. Ah. Ah, that bitch was on there good. Bro, don't tell me that's all it is. I'm done. What's that hole hooked up over there to the left foot? Oh, uh, it's, it's always in the way. Oh, I know. Fun. Wait, I know what I was supposed to do. I know what I was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. What'd it take? Can I lose that hole? There's one on this side, too. Your intake's off. <laughs> we did this completely backwards. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Let me see. I'll yeah. hold the old one, and you hold the new hold, one. Hold, yeah. So you got two radiators? Hey. <laughs> <Dude. No. laughs> it's a condenser, that's a radiator. That's a two and one, that's a two and one, that's why. Yeah. What was like. that for the AC? Yeah. I don't need that shit. No AC, race car. Yeah. Nah, this is just for like, no, regardless, windows are going to be down when you're driving this. Yeah, windows are down. Windows are down, so you can hear the exhaust. So you can hear the downshifts. Okay. So this is the old one. Yeah. This is the old one. Mm. Dude, I think, really think you should take these off. No. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Mm. Oh damn! Oh, it's yeah. Wow, they fit perfect. What the fuck? That's crazy. Keep it held. Let it go. Yeah. All the way? Like, yeah, yeah, let it go. It's not gonna fall. No, no, no. See if I can keep something to keep it strapped. Zip ties. Zip ties, oh, I'm trying, baby. I'm trying to think about the zip ties, but where can I mount it? Zip ties, baby. Right here, look. Oh, wait. But like, how am I going to get it around? Mm -hmm. I could do it around here. You can just link them together. Like, strap it from here. Mm -hmm. So that's the coolant housing, Let's right? See. I don't even have bolts for this shit. Mm. We have the radiator. Uh, not kind of on there. Uh, we need to figure out a way to mount it on there without it moving because it's just it's nothing to hold it up right here. Like the OEM one OEM had, these. had that right there on the edges, was held up, but this doesn't have it, so we got to figure out a way to mock it up and make it stay by itself. But everything hooks up just fine right here and at the bottom down there. You can't see right now, but what bolts are those from? <laughs> the radiator right here, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, we could use those. It's on there. It's on here. That hole goes to that. This should go here. Mhm. Mm yeah. And uh, we have to trim this hose right here because it's too long. Yeah. I'm about to do that. I mean, I wanted to do that right now. Yeah, we can probably cut that real quick. Now we're installing the battery. Go to this side. Look on this side. Here, right here. So it fit? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Fit yeah. in there. This is the That's what we're worried about. This is right there. My ground right there. Positive right there. 
So just an update, we've done the intake, we replaced it, got rid of the old one, put the new one on, and then we also swapped the throttle bodies from the old one, put it to the new one. Uh, the sensors, these are here. We still have to get bolts to tighten them down. Probably go get those later. Did the radiator, we connected the hoses, we found out we need to trim this, it's too long. Then the coolant housing. Fits. The coolant housing fits, but we need to figure out the, the hose problem. We're having a hose problem right here. So we need to figure that out. We also got to get other clamps for the intakes. Might get those later. So it's almost there. And then we're probably gonna have to go get some gas to put gas in the car. Mm -hmm. I just want to hear it crank at least. Like, yeah, at least crank. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right, we're good. In the video, Does it's cranked. So this is the hose we need to find, right? Yeah. Like that same size, but I think we should just take the manifold. Can you cut that off? Yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, just cut it off. Cut that bitch off. Or snap it off. It's already broken. Other people are going to be like, oh my God, you're going to be selling it. Ain't nobody going to buy it broken. And <laughs> it's gone. And it's in the grass. I think we'll be good with this, though. All right, uh, so we just got back from the store. Uh, we picked up a few things that we needed. We needed some zip ties because we're gonna zip tie the radiator to the car because it's just sitting there loosely. So we're gonna try to rig it up with some zip ties. <laughs> we also picked up this hose because uh, it needs to be connected right there, back there on the manifold. What is it for? Um, the brake booster hose. Uh, the brake booster hose. The this brake booster to the intake manifold. To the intake manifold, you heard him. Uh, yeah, that's what that's for. The zip ties. We also picked up some bolts right there. What he's doing for the sensors that we're missing. We also picked those up. And we also got gas. Doug, I think that's what Doug's doing right now. Uh, okay, the ethanol. Yeah. No, it's, fine. it's only 93. Yeah, it's only 93. It's only 93, but. He, also, he still has to hook up the. Uh, what? 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 Lasso, no, you didn't. Oh my god, dude, you're an idiot. No, he broke the bolt. <laughs> Look what he just did. <laughs> Again, too carried away. I'm done with you, Lasso. That is stuck in there. Well, at least it's in there, right? Well, we're almost close to start up. Just a couple of things that we need to put in, and then we can go ahead and try it. Too small. Well, no, I wanted it. I don't want it too big, like a big circle. Well, I guess that's it. Oh, see, that's all we oh, needed. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, shoot, that'll work right there. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. 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 Bro, that whole ain't moving, <laughs> bro. I ain't going nowhere now. Yep, that's all she needed was some zip ties. Can't go wrong with zip ties, am I right, Joe? Mm -hmm. We do need to trim down this hose, though. Do need to trim it down because it is way too long. As long as it, as long as it has airflow coming in, it's supposed to be connected to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys. So right now I'm doing the OBD2. I kind of forgot how it goes, so I have to look at past messages of the guy who did it. Uh, he's he's talking to the guy that uh is who did his wiring harness because we're just trying to figure out if we got everything hooked up right. Yeah, especially on the inside, the OB2 that he was just showing y'all right now. Uh, we're figuring out the battery. Probably gonna plug up the battery real quick. He said I don't have to have one, bro. Well, I have what? What? I don't have to have a clutch installed to start it. But oh. I need to have a wire. Uh, wire. Um, Shout out that guy. You can barely see his name. Hell yeah. Get to garage. Get to garage. Hey, if you need a, if you need a. Swap if you guys are doing this swap, hit up that guy. He, he's the one who helped Lasso with his wiring harness and all that. Right now, now. there's other competitors out there for the wiring harness to get done they've had issues everybody that's went with guilty garage literally first try usually starts like definitely starts so i'm kind of confident it will start with no problem but you never know this is a swap it's something can happen and we're running out of light it's already dark outside so sorry if the quality is bad but. and then after this what else do you need to do find out that wire and, and, and it has good oil in it already uh he already oh. changed the oil so, you gotta use good oil. You gotta use good oil. It has it has oil. <gasps> Did it just? 
Wait, check if my keys are. Your keys are in and it's turned yeah, on. It. Do you want to start it or I start it? I start it. You want to start it? Go ahead. All right, so right, wait, right, wait, wait before you, yeah, yeah, before you turn it on, make sure. Make sure everything's on there. The keys were in when he hooked that battery up, and it made a noise. I don't know if they. That's even, all you need. I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna hear it in the video or not. It probably yeah, it's pretty. But cool. I don't know if it was a relay or maybe the the VVEL activating. I'm not sure. Like it didn't sound like the engine, but it sounded like something. Electrical, electrical. Yeah, yeah. As soon as the battery goes. Are they on here? No, go. <sighs> no. Have you started it yet? Come on. I will do. All right, I'm going to just try it. Just try it. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. I'm going to see if my, my fuel pump's priming though. Come on, baby. Is that? Oh, I'm supposed to wire something. You remember? Uh, first try was not a success. Not a success. This is not a success. That had my heart. That had, that had my heart racing. No, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I imagine my plasma was feeling right now. <laughs> yeah. Turn it to the on position first. Oh. Bro, it's it's activating. Yeah, it's activating. It wants to turn on, yeah. but it can't. Something is not letting it. That's the VVL, those little fucking things in the back. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I'm um, sorry that we couldn't get it started. We're this close to getting it started. There's just one wire that we got to bypass because you, in order to start the car, a manual car, you got to have the clutch pushed in in order to start it. But there is a way to make the car think that you are pushing in the clutch so it can start. So it's just that wire that we got to mess with, which we'll probably do in the next video because we already got a lot done. And by the time we do that, it's going to get really late. It's already dark outside. So we did get a lot done. We put the new manifold on. We put the new sensors on the intakes on. We got new hoses. We got the new radiator hooked up. Uh, what else did we do? The cooling housing, we got that hooked up too. The new battery. So we did get a lot done in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that we couldn't start it again, but we probably will. Might get started. Hopefully, fingers crossed that we can start it in the next video. But that's going to be it. Check out the Instagram. There will be a link in the description to our Instagram because that's where we post all the new parts. Everything that we did to the car. So go ahead and check that out. But that's it for now. Catch you on the next one. Peace.